Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we have a multiplication problem with a decimal. That's right, we're gonna be multiplying decimals today. Don't worry, we're gonna take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Before we do that, I want you to take a look at the link right up above. That's to one of my new channels called Dino Math. That's where we have mathematics and dinosaurs. We put them together and we have a cool series on there with Dino Math. We even have Beyblade X um, wars uh, with dinosaurs. They're, they're Beyblade X's with dinosaurs and we're having a lot of cool battles and we do some dinosaur toy reviews. It's a really cool channel. If you like dinosaurs, take a look at that. I'd sure appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button. All right, you ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, so don't worry about the decimals. Just pretend they're not there. Just cover your eyes up. Well, maybe you can't cover them up because then you can't see where you're going, but just Ignore the decimals, and we're gonna take a look at those decimals after we do the multiplication, all right? So first of all, when we multiply a double digit like this, we're even covering up the two. We're just gonna use the five. I'm gonna take five times one, five times six, five times three, and five times two, write the problem here, and then I'm gonna switch over and do the two, all right? So it's, I'm gonna make it easy, cheesy, limb squeezy for you. Don't worry, all right? Let's take it step by step. So first of all, five times one, five. So I'm put five right here. Five times six, 30. So I put the zero right here and I put the three right up here. Remember, I'm gonna add that three on my next step. Five times three is 15, 16, 17, 18. That's when I add that three, so it's 18. So I put the eight right here and then carry the one. And then five times two is 10 plus the one, 11. So I put 11 right there. That's all I have to do right now. Now I go over to the two, all right? I'm gonna take two times one. Now don't put, two times one is two. Don't put the two right there. We're dealing with this two right here, and so you need to bring that number right here. You gotta put your answer right there. So two times one is two. And remember, we're ignoring that five right now. So now I do two times six is 12. So I put the 12 right here and I carry the one right up here. You can kind of cross that three out now. So now I go two times three is six plus the one is seven. And then I do two times two. You can cross that one out if you want to. Later on when you're doing these things, you, just your mind will ignore that. Um, so you don't really need to do the cross out thing. Um, but whatever you need to do to, you know, that you understand it, it makes it easy for you. So two times two is four. So I put the four right here. So then our next step is addition. That's right, addition. And I'd sure appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button to this channel. We're gonna have a lot of cool other math problems um, every single week. I have a lot of math problems on here. And if you ever have a request, put it down in the comments. I always read the comments. So, but I'd sure appreciate it hitting the subscribe button. It helps me out. All right, let's go ahead and add five. Just, there's nothing to add, is it? Just drop it down, just drop it down. Two plus zero, two. Eight plus two. 10, carry the one up here. Seven plus one is eight, plus the one up there, nine. And then four plus one is five. All right, that's our answer. And now we're gonna go ahead and put in our decimal point. How do you do that? With multiplying, with multiplication with decimal points, it's really super easy. All you have to do is count the numbers behind the decimal point. So I have, one, two, three. I have three numbers behind this decimal point, and how many numbers do I have behind the decimal point over here? One. So I count all the times I did my underlining. So I have one, two, three, four. All right, so now I know how many numbers are gonna be behind my decimal point. So I go one, if you want to at first, you can underline it, it kind of helps you out. One, two, three, four, and this is where you're going to be putting your new decimal point, right here. So again, what I did is I counted all the numbers behind all the decimal points. So I have one, two, three, and then four, and that's how many numbers are gonna be behind the decimal point here. So that's where you know where to put it, right there. Easy cheesy, lemon squeezy.
Hey, if you want some more problems like that, put it down in the comment. I'll take a look at it. And uh, I hope you're having a good day out there. What would you think of my new uh, Dinomat? Did you take a look at that channel? Um, do you like dinosaurs? Is there a favorite dinosaur that you like? Um, I always like the T-Rex, but uh, those little raptors, I love, you know, running around. Um, we're having a really fun time with Beyblade Xs. Um, I have those on my Dino Math channel. I even have another channel. I have two other channels. I ha it's called the Learning Fun Channel. I have some links down below. And I also have an outdoor channel uh, where I go fishing, uh, take my, my son out fishing. We do some archery. Um, we go snorkeling out in the ocean, just having fun. So um, if you need more stuff that's on, not on the Lampo Film channel, check out all these other channels. All you have to do is go down in the description right there, scroll down there, and you'll find some interesting things. So um, yeah, I, and don't spend all your day on the internet and looking at videos. Uh, get out there and play around and uh, have a fun day out there. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.